Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me today in our Word Workout. Before I will start the reflection, let me encourage you to share this in your timeline and like our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, let's have our journey in Genesis chapter 1 verses 2 and 3 today. The Word of God says, The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. We'll be looking at some life application, and let's focus first in verse 2. You know, who created God? That's one big question. To ask that question is to assume there was another creator before God. At some time, however, we are forced to stop asking that question and realize that there had to be something that has always existed. God is the infinite being who has always been and who was created by no one. This is difficult to understand because finite minds cannot comprehend the infinite. For example, we can try to think of the highest number, but we can't do it. Likewise, we must not limit the infinite God by our finite understanding. So beloved, we are being reminded today from this first reflection in verse 2 that we must not limit an infinite God by our own limited capacity to understand Him. Another one that I would like to share is this. The statement, the earth was formless and empty, provides the setting for the creation narrative that follows. During the second and third days of creation, God gave form to the universe. During the next three days, God filled the earth with living beings. The darkness was dispelled on the first day when God created light. The image of the Spirit of God hovering over the earth's surface is similar to a mother bird caring for and protecting its young. God's Spirit was actively involved in the creation of the world. So therefore, what we understand and be reminded today is God's care and protection for all of us are still active because of the Holy Spirit working in our lives. Especially during this time of pandemic, during the time where you are facing a lot of difficulties, problems, and testing. Always remember, beloved, that you are not alone. The Holy Spirit is caring for you. The Holy Spirit is protecting you. Only it's very important that you will acknowledge that the Holy Spirit is living in you and you trust God with all your heart. The Word of God says in verse 3 again, Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. Therefore, how long did it take God to create the world? That's a big question. There are two basic views about the days of creation. Each day was a literal 24-hour period. And the second is, each day represents an indefinite period of time, even millions of years. Now, the Bible does not say how long these time periods were. The real question, however, is not how long God took, but how He did it. God created the earth in an orderly fashion. He did not make plants before light, for example. And He created men and women as unique beings capable of communication with Him. No other part of creation can claim that remarkable privilege. It is important how long it took God to create the world, whether a few days or a few billion years, but that He created it just the way He wanted it. Beloved, it is my prayer that all of us today, let's give thanks to our Creator. Let's give Him the glory, the honor, the reverence in our life. Maybe there are times that we question our existence, but remember this, it is God who created you. It means He is the one who gave you that purpose to move and to live each day. And because of that, we are also reminded in verse 2 that God is caring for us and God is is protecting us all the way through. So beloved, take heart and keep following God, especially for His plan and purposes for your lives. Thank you so much for joining us today and see you tomorrow for our Word Workout. Please don't forget to subscribe in our YouTube channel and also in our Facebook page. Thank you so much. Stay safe, stay strong. God bless.